This lesson is called Sailors, Sailor Kicks. It's kind of a fun move in the Charleston family. Looks like this. Rock step, kick step, run, run, kick step, kick step, kick step, kick step, kick step. Ah, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, sailor position, as you've already mentioned, it's a very common shape that we use in our partnered Charleston step. But to do it well takes a lot of specific technique that we're going to break down now. Um, the first thing we're going to do before adding any of the footwork is just talk about the connection that we use through our frame here. It always starts with a rounded rock step here. So there's a sense of rock step here. And we're, get, we're almost getting together to start this swirly bit. From here, we're going to move where the, we turn the follows around, and then we peek through the other side, and we have this new relationship right there. We'll show you on this side just to see again the pathway. From that rock step here, we turn the follows around and peek through the other side like this. The most important connection point is Michael's right arm as it goes between our bodies. A lot of people worry about this top arm, but it really has very little to do with the move. In fact, even if this move became disconnected, it would be fine. So again, this rolling pathway is what Evita is saying is the most important. Um, I think from this angle, what, what is best to see is as we start this roll moment, instead of taking this hand connection and dropping it, like we see a lot of students oh, right, do. Because it's not a pin, it's not supposed to be a pinwheel turn. Um, instead of doing that, I'm going to draw this straight through the two of us there. So I really want so to push my, that connection there. And my shoulders, my upper body stays level during this turn. Yeah. So from this, uh, you can just practice with the follows on that right foot, pushing through to see if we can create a rotation for our partners that does not affect their balance. And ultimately, once we get to the end of that turn, Michael needs to catch my waist. So another thing that is important is our hand connection here doesn't really matter. What matters, like you saw, is the roll through and then a catch at the hip to make sure I don't go off into outer space. And in fact, I'm going to use this connection to move Evita around the circle as well. So we'll continue to lead from that arm. Rock step here, turn, turn, connection, and there we have that. Now this other arm on top, um, in order to protect your shoulders, um, as a follow, I keep looking towards my right arm, and when Michael lifts it over his head, he keeps it close to his shoulder. He doesn't pull the arm way far over there where I can't reach. But Michael also gets lower so that my arm can settle somewhere. Mm -hmm. From a profile, just so you can see, I'm going to start it over here. Another thing about this, this top arm is that I don't want Evita to feel like I'm pulling this hand connection too far against the shoulder. Oh, right, because if the right arm is being pulled too far against my body, that doesn't feel good. Right. So, and follows, you will let your partner know if it doesn't feel comfortable. Right. And we will make that adjustment. Right. Quick, quick, slow, roll through here. And you can see how low I get so that Evita's arm is still protected. And, and I think another thing that we do really nicely is we've just got a loose fingertip connection here. We're not trying to hold hands too deeply. So that gives us a little bit of, a little bit more distance. And it also lets the hands pivot easily. Yeah. And like I said earlier, as a follow, I keep looking towards my right shoulder. So that not only helps with my rotation, but it helps comfort the shoulder and the collarbone. And then that, of course, will help us to get around. Mm -hmm. So to build this up with, again, without all the crazy footwork yet, what I might do is a simplified rhythm. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Just to see if we can get the pathway with our partner while using some steps. That footwork or that simple rhythm is rock, step, slow, step, step, slow. Hey, that's our eight count rhythm, Michael. Yeah, right. Without the triple steps. Okay. Um, the, the other thing I want to mention about the relationship of the body's leaders is that I'm, al I'm always going to face Evita through the front half of this step. So you'll see here my chest right there 
continues to face until I reach through to the other side towards the very end. That's really gonna help this arm connection feel comfortable. Quick, quick, slow, face your partner, then is when we make that transition. Often, uh, oftentimes we'll see younger students uh, when they're learning this right here is they'll get right shoulder to right shoulder mm. uh, and then they'll try to make this happen which actually starts then that shoulder of the follow will take the brunt because you're trying to mm. lead the turn there. Mm. So I want to keep a nice rock. I'm still open until the very end of that moment. That's super cool. That makes it really comfortable. Yeah. So, so again, the rhythm that we're using right now as we kick through, uh, as we go rock, step, slow, step, step, slow, then we can walk or we can kick step through it. Yep. Once we get the arms feeling comfortable and the pathway of, of making this lead follow happen, then we can put the, the footwork back onto this, which actually is a rock, step, kick, step, run, run, kick, step. Still our eight count rhythm. It's just we, we're using kick steps. Rock, step, kick, step, run, run, kick, step, kick, 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 step. Yep. So that's a way that we can get back into the Charleston feeling with our footwork, but then we have the sailor's relationship. So how many times do we go step, around? Kick, run, run. You kick. can go around for as long forever? as you like until you want. Yes. Not forever. So the exit out of this, I just continue to kick step, kick step, and I'm alternating my feet. And it's actually Michael who kind of makes the call of when he unwinds himself. Yep, the exit uh, for this moment, uh, without footwork, once we're here and, and we're moving around, leaders, when you want to get out of this step, I'm going to let go with the right hand. So I'm going to release her hip, <coughs> send her around, and then we can finish in this open position like this. That's a very basic, simple way of getting out of our sailor position. Very cool. If we wanted to add some sort of clear rhythm to this, maybe rock step, kick step, run, run, kick step, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll just use two eight counts for the whole idea to get back to this open position. You want to see that again from the other side? A rock step, kick step, run, run, kick step, kick step, kick step, kick step, kick step. That works out perfect for me. If I keep going with the alternating feet, then I end up on my left foot. Absolutely. One last thing I want to point out for the followers with their left hand. Let's see if we can show it from maybe this side. Sometimes Michael keeps my hand. And when we demonstrated it, you might have seen that my hand goes to my hip like this. That's perfectly fine. The position of my left arm is literally just like I've got my hand on my hip like my knuckles are pointing on the hip and my fingers are like so. And so if I let Michael's hand pivot in that connection, that's where we end up. But what's interesting about this is that he is still preoccupied with catching my body and not so much whether or not the fingers stay there or not. Cool. Great. Rock step, kick step, run, run, kick step, kick step, kick step, kick step, kick step. Ah, that's fun.